Oh, my relatives, this is going to be a quick intro on Timsina Bahe, turn up gathering. During June, mid June to the end of June, kind of into July, we gather what we call Timsina, and that is the turn up, that's the starchy food of Plains Native Americans. So harvest season was in June for us. We are identifying what the plant looks like to the stalk of the plant, to the flower, and all the way down to the turnip. Uh, what it looks, in its, looks like in its raw form uh, to the peeled form, how to pick it and how to gather it. Pinamaya, thank you. Oh, my relatives, and again, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful evening out come to gather. I wanted to show you what a Timpsina looks like here. And it's a beautiful example display. They'll have this purplish, so they're blooming out here, tops on them. And they have this fuzzy kind of a stalk to it. All the way down its stem, it'll be this, it'll be fuzzy. Now there's a lot that'll fool you that ain't too fuzzy, that ain't, they ain't the real deal. They look kind of like a, well they'll look like one, but they're not really one. But these are turnips right here. This is what a turnip plant looks like. The top of it, the stalk is kind of fuzzy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a couple here and we're gonna be showing you how it's done. Now before we, we pick things, we always try to give something back in return. We always want to try to leave some of the seed tops that are ready to go. And again, since this is the time of harvesting, um, in June here, in our time of Wedu, we're going to bage, we're going to bather, gather quite a bit of these here. Um, beautiful, right by the water this evening. So we traditionally, we give an offering of tobacco. And natural tobacco, tobacco twist, we call it chani. There's going to be an offering, so we're, we give a little bit before we take something, and we only take what we need. We gather only what we need. That's what um, that's kind of our been our way of life and our motto as Native American Red Bottom people of the Nakota. We only want to take what we need. We don't want to take any more uh, than we actually need for our families, for our feeds, and things like that. So we're going to give an offering and uh, of tobacco and give thanks for this earth of providing everything that we need to sustain ourselves all living things all life we are uh, we're giving thanks for that and um, we, we do this as native american people those who pick medicines and plants uh, throughout the growing season and harvesting times and we give a little bit uh, for good fortune and for good health all right, and again, we have our trusty tool here. Our, they call this a root and bar. Somebody goes ahead and they go ahead and make this thing here. And it goes right into the ground, right beside the stalk. Long ago, they would have used a digging tool of some type, a tempered type of, uh, probably wood, some type of ash wood, so a very hard wood. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in right beside it. We don't want to make sure we don't want to hurt the uh, tear up our timpsina. So we're going to go in right beside best we can close to the stem. We want to go down as far as we can because these grow really grow down quite a bit. And we just got done as you can. I'm around some rocks there. Timpsina, they grow in a like to grow in rocky areas. Whoop. We want to get our tool just right so we can bring it up. And when we bring it up out of the ground, let's see how well we did. So, there we go. We got one. Timpsina. And that's what it'll look like. 
just like that, just like so. And the roots are really long. You need the roots from the earth for all the minerals. And this is our starchy food. You can actually make bread out of this. So the Teamsina here, beautiful. The story of the Teamsina, how the, the lady was looking down from above, homesick for her people and her family from the stars and she picked a huge team scene on seen look down through that up there and seeing the, her family in this world down there and she started braiding these together so as we peel these we're gonna peel the skin off and they're gonna turn white and right here these things here we're gonna braid them together we're gonna go ahead and braid them hang them and let them dry and you can keep these all year next year even and so traditionally there's always a story to some kind of medicine out here we won't get too in depth with uh, that particular story but in any case she braided these together to make a rope to get down to her her people from the stars from the star people so there we go there's one team Cena, and we want to put back the land the way we And this is really good tool. We didn't really disturb the land. I didn't have to dig it up with a shovel. I didn't have to make a hole. I, it was really, really great. So on my next one here, this team scene out here, I'm gonna leave some. So as you can see, these ones that are coming up here, over here, there's one here, right here, growing right here. There's another little one back here. We're gonna go ahead and let these grow. We're not gonna bother these at all. Here's one here, there's one here. We're gonna let those go. There's one back here. And as you can see, the team Cena, when they grow, a lot of them hide even. There's single stem, stem sage here. They call that buffalo sage. There's single stem inside of here. It likes shade. So a lot of plants help one another out. They create uh, shade and coverage for it. They can grow. The sun doesn't burn it up too bad. There's white top. They call that yarrow. That's in there. And this is just flooded with sage. So if I could give you a peek to go ahead, if you can get in there and take a look. Go ahead and take a look at that sage. You see it? All of that is single stem. That ain't sage bush. Single stem, stem sage there. See? So there's quite a bit of stuff to harvest through here. You see how it grows, it likes the shade, it helps one another. When it rains, I imagine. White top all in here as well. There's some white top growing in here. See, the white top there, yarrow. That's good, that helps boost the immune system. The single stem sage is what we gather as well when it gets high enough. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna find the bottom, there it is. We're gonna try again, get not too close and try to. There we go, we got a good bite on that find it it's a rock right here try to tear this apart if we can there we go there we go that one ain't too big but not bad we got a little bit of sage here so again there's a team scene off for us and that'll get braided and peeled with the rest of them. And sometimes what I like to do, when these are fully budded at the end of the season, they'll be ready to seed. These will be all budded out and they'll have some seeds in them. So what I like to do is take a little bit when they're ready and I'll leave them there. A couple in there like so to grow for the coming year. Fix the earth. Those two are still here for the coming year. 
and I'll leave some of the bulbs here. We want to get back. Some people would take this whole top off, put it back inside, let it grow again. So people have different ways of doing it. I find that having the tool, this is <laughs> one of the most useful tools and I'll be coming back here to pick all this sage for sure. I will be back. So it's a beautiful evening here, uh, northeastern part of Montana by one of our little ponds up, up north of uh, Oswego, Montana. It's a beautiful place, place I was born and raised. Ah, the Anna, the Anna, you want to die.